Rosalba Neri began her film career at the age of 15 with her role in the film The Penguin Watchers, in which the animal at the zoo watched the human around them and cultivated some very interesting thoughts. Many sources, however, list her first film as Mowgli Pericolosi. She is uncredited in this comedy, which was directed by Luigi Comencini. Viaggio Celebrity Presents Top 10 Rosalba Neri Movies Number 10. Convento di Closura 1972 A young man eternally in trouble because of his passion for women escape the ire of some jealous husband by taking refuge disguised as a friar in a convent for women. Although they wear the habit, however, the nun proved to be too sensitive to the temptation of the flesh, so the young man can continue in his activity as an indefatigable lover. It is yet another depressing and trivial jumble of situations. Images and licentious parties created without any regard for the intelligence and good taste of the viewer and without any respect for religion. Number 9. Two males for Alexa 1971. A young girl married the wealthy father of one of her female friends at college. But she soon find herself falling in love with another young man. The husband find out about the two and come up with what he believed to be a foolproof plan. He will frame his wife and her lover for his own murder. Then have the pair locked in a room in his remote isolated estate with his own dead body. An acceptable thriller drama with intrigue, suspense, plot twist made in jealous style. A twisted and entertaining film about an interesting premise. The vengeance carried out by an old man against his young wife, who has an affair with a virile boy by having the pair look at a room in an isolated farm mansion. Number 8. The Real Decameron 1973. This is one of a large number of early 1970s Italian Decameron films inspired by Pier Paolo Pasolini's adaptation of Boccaccio the Decameron. This is one of the few films of this loose genre that has been legitimately released even if it happened to be under the English name of a completely different film. I am admittedly a fan of this genre. Bowdy tell with some amount genuine literary gravitas and spike with generous modern day helping of softcore love and T and A but this one is also above average. It contains seven different stories with only a whisper thin frame story. So the stories don't ever flag too much and even the weaker one don't bring the whole thing down. Number 7. Smile Before Death 1972 After the death of her mother under strange circumstances, a teenage girl quickly began to suspect that her recently widowed stepfather may be involved. Marco, a penniless nobleman unhappily married to the rich Dorothy and her best friend Jana is his mistress who one day kill his wife. He automatically becomes the administrator of her estate, which however at the age of 20, it will have to pass to Nancy, Dorothy's daughter from her first bed. Marco retired to live with Jana in the luxurious villa on the shore of a lake. Here the pretty future heir reaches him whom he had never known. Nancy has been in a boarding school for a long time and hasn't seen her mother very often. Number 6. The Devil's Wedding Night 1973 The 1800s Scholarly Carl believed he found the ring of the Nibelung which hold great power. It's at Castle Dracula. 
He is twin France, a gambler, asks if vampire frightened Carl. Carl shows him an Egyptian amulet which may protect him. Franz takes the amulet and sets out ahead of his brother, arriving at the castle first. There he finds a countess who invites him to dine. Later that night, Carl arrives. Coincidentally, it's the night of the virgin moon, a night that falls every 50 years and draws five virgins from the surrounding village to the castle not to hurt from again. Number 5. The French Murders 1972 A man is accused of killing his favorite prostitute in a French brothel. He is tried and sentenced to death. He tried to escape but dies during pursuit. Soon people connected to the case are killed one by one. Francine, a prostitute in a French brothel, is assassinated. The prime suspect is one of her regular clients. Even though the alleged perpetrator claims his innocence, he is sentenced to death but managed to escape custody. During the high-speed chase, he suffered a fatal crash. Soon afterward, the witnesses that testified against the suspect are murdered by black glove wearing individual in bloody ways. Number 4 Top Sensation 1969 Ulla, a prostitute, is hired by the despicable Muddy, mother of the Psy and mentally disturbed 20 year old Tony with a tendency toward pyromania. She is invited on a sea cruise where she is meant to take his virginity. Also invited on the cruise are the provocative Paula and her husband Aldo, who are constantly striving to win the favor of a wealthy woman in hope of obtaining an oil concession. Despite her effort, Ula has no effect on the young man until the yacht stop on a Mediterranean island inhabited only by a goat herder and his wife Beba. Tony is attracted to her but little by little his mental disorder arises and the story ends in tragedy. Number 3 Slaughter Hotel 1971 In a psychiatric clinic for rich women, die murdered one after another. A nurse and two patients while an arrow hit another woman. The guilty is a masked man. The police decide to set up a trap, but the line of murdering isn't still over. A psychiatric clinic located in the quiet countryside is run by Dr. Clay Klaus Kinski. There stay various female patients. This is a hospital with an inferno of feminine desires where people die murdered one after another, peeling up a number of corpses. As a murder is executing a criminal spree by using medieval weapon against the unfortunate victim who he has previously struck. Number 2 Lady Frankenstein 1971 After Baron Frankenstein is killed by his own monster, his daughter transplants his assistant's brain into a handsome young body, all while the original monster seeks revenge against those who participated in its creation. When Dr. Frankenstein is killed by a monster he created his daughter and his lab assistant Marshall continue his experiment. The two fall in love and attempt to transplant Marshall's brain into the muscular body of a retarded servant Stephen in order to prolong the aging Marshall's life. Meanwhile, the first monster seek revenge on the grave robber who sold the body part used in its creation to Dr. Frankenstein. Soon it come after Marcel and the doctor's daughter. Number 1. Amak 1972 The secretary Greta Franklin traveled from London to Venice to work with the prominent writer Richard Stewart who lived with his wife Eleanor Stewart in an island. 
Greta is replacing his previous secretary Sally that is missing. When police inspector Anthony interview Greta, he learned that she accepted the job to investigate what has happened to Sally, who was her friend. Soon she suspects that Richard has murdered Sally, but she cannot find any evidence to prove her theory to the inspector. Returning to view this film again after a gap of a few years, I find I like it much more the second time around. It begins quietly as Barbara Bush is introduced to the Venetian villa of Rosalba Neri and Fairly Granger. The rather washed out pen and scan print derived from video source is not good, but seem to be all there is and can soon be forgiven as the tense and vivid action develop.